our lives reflect, reflect his presence and our homes radiate his peace. Please stand as we sing together. Every valley be filled in, every mountain 
and hill laid low. Let every cliff become a clay, and the bridges a valley. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all mankind shall see it, for the mouth of the Lord is spoken. Go up on a high mountain, joyful messenger to Zion. Shout with a loud voice, joyful messenger to Jerusalem. Shout without fear. Say to the towns of Judah, Here is your God. Here is the Lord coming with power his arms subduing all things to him. The prize of his victory is with him, his trophies all go before him. He is like a shepherd leading his flock, gathering lambs in his arms, holding them against his breast, and leading to their rest the mother ewes. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you. 
people shall see the salvation of God. Orally from a 
prophet for a number of decades. And this is one of the reasons why, why the people were coming to him. Previously, it was only the echo of God that they would hear through the prophets of old. But there were no prophets, great prophets among them. John the Baptist turned up and drew people into the desert, a place of great light and a place of cleanliness and a place of healing. They came to him from Judea, where Bethlehem is, and Jerusalem, all the way around. So from the, from, from the highest to the lowest, they were drawn to his voice and what he was saying. They were baptized as a baptism of repentance to renew themselves for what is going to come. And we know what came. So Jesus uh, called this man, John, uh, the greatest son born of woman. They were great friends. And uh, Jesus, uh, well, he was his cousin as well. But he was the great man that we hear from today to help us on our movement forward. But he's most important for um, not pointing he pointed Jesus out and not himself. John had his own disciples and he said to them, don't follow me, follow him. I'm not the one, he's the one. So he's the one who points to the Lord and points him to us tonight. So let us be reconciled ourselves. This Lent at our own reconciliation service in a week or two, that uh, we might be able to spiritually reconcile ourselves in readiness for the great season to come. Schools, 
and workplaces. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, that they may rejoice as they are welcomed into the new and heavenly, heavenly Jerusalem. We pray especially for Bernard Feely and Pat Gordon. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, St. John the Baptist preached repentance and the coming of Jesus Christ, your Son. By your grace, may we be found worthy to enter your kingdom through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, 
For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation. And now when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we are plain. Of Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, 
so that we may obtain an inheritance of your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Thomas and all the saints, of whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope, Paul our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good.
My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
no more news. Any other news we need to hear and share? Oh, here we go. Thank you. You're quite right. That's why I say those things. This is from Teresa. The Christmas newsletter areas to be covered. Um, most of our areas are covered for the Christmas newsletter drop-off, but the following areas aren't. And if you live in that area and like to go for a walk for half an hour, dropping some newsletters in some post boxes, we would be most grateful, particularly Teresa. And the areas to be covered are Grassmere at Hobson Street, Gladstone Road, Oakwood Road and Rosebrook Road, number three, Benmore Street and Mono My Place. Oh. All right, all right, I've got a pleasant point. <laughs> and number four, Ashbury Avenue and White Street. Number six, Fairview Road and nearby. Ooh. Number seven, Arcasia Drive, Seadown Road, Seaforth Road. And if you could take some newsletters to any of those, could you please see Teresa on the overhead projector tonight? We'd be very grateful. Thank you. And you'll go straight to heaven by the way as well. So yeah. <laughs> Let's stand for our final prayer. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in the peace of the Lord. Thanks be to God.